fresh text tutorial for beginners hi guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to be telling you about fresh desk and how you can use it so having said that let's just jump into the video now fresh desk as you can see right here i'm on their website it's called freshworks.com so freshworks.com slash fresh desk that is their website and over here if you didn't know fresh desk is a simple customer service platform where you can go ahead and you know manage your customer services your crms and all of that right so it's pretty cool so it's free as well but there is a price plan which we'll get into later if we come over here these are some of the features that it offers so there's ticketing the ai analytics and insights self-service routing and slas and then security so ticketing so over here what is ticketing ticketing is basically when a customer right you have a website and a customer comes over here and they complain about something or they're having an issue right their issue is going to be called a ticket right they're going to go ahead and they get a ticket and behind the scenes the team is going to go ahead and sort them out right it's pretty cool you can go ahead and use the ai as well and if we click on insights over here you can see we've got the predefined reports and dashboard real-time dashboards agents availability and custom objectives they also have self-serving so empower your customer with self-serving tools so you can check them out right here you've got a bunch of different options even got a ticket templates to choose from as well so yeah so let's go ahead and get started with it so we're going to go ahead and click on try it for free right here and sign up and to sign up we can go ahead and you know enter with our email or we can sign up with google i'm going to continue with google and then you just simply enter in your company name and your phone number and once you've done that you should be good to go as you can see it says right here welcome to fresh desk and now it's going to go ahead and ask you some personalization questions so that it can go ahead and personalize it for you so what industry are you working from how many employees do you have in your company what is your experience with customer service softwares you know so just select any company or any industry that you work in so i'm going to say that retail and e-commerce and i have one to ten and i'm trying service soft for the first time and then click on next so get your support ready so over here you have to you're basically done after that right this is you're going to be your dashboard uh, on the left hand side you're going to have all your main options such as dashboards you know tickets contacts and permissions you have your solutions forms and analytics and admin settings at the top you have your quick settings if you click on this new button you can go ahead and create a new ticket email contact company or agent right and then over here you've got your quick sports that you can go ahead and quickly you know complete zero to three so you got your email support you got to connect your support email you got to explore the ticket inbox and invite your team members right and basically you're done so let's go ahead and do that let's go ahead and connect our email so if you click on email it's going to take us to admin and then into email servers and then in the new email server here we can go ahead and connect our support email so select the email server it can be gmail microsoft custom if you have one and if you have your own freshworks mail you can go ahead and sign in with that as well so right here this is how it will look like currently right uh, you can use this one as well starting from scratch here's an email address for you to use so if you want you can go ahead and use this email so if you click on that and there you go it's now done now we can go ahead and you know send a test email so if you click on send a test email to see whether or not it's working it's going to open up the chrome i'm going to open up chrome and i'll over here i'll go into gmail or i can use my outlook mail as well you know it depends on you so it's going to open up over here this is the support email hi this is a test email right and then we just simply go ahead and click on the send button and that should have worked and now if i close this we should have a message in the ticket section so if we go back to ticket we can see right here it's working and we have the email right here so there we go we now have a ticket so this is how it works like so whenever you have connected your email people are going to go ahead and send you emails or customer supports messages within that email and they'll appear as tickets over here so if you click on view ticket we can see what the problem is with that over here you can see the customer query is going to be over here right this is a test emails and right whatever their questionnaire is whatever their problem is we can go ahead and fix it over here next once we've done that and we click on manage over here you can see you can manage your ticket properties so you can add tags you can add the type status priority and stuff like that so also you have your contact details over there so yeah so let's go ahead and fill it out and then down below you have your response section as well and then you can over here close the ticket by just simply go ahead and click on close once it's done right so i'll just say hi customer's name is going to be over here how may i help you today 
or I can just say your issue is this. Have you tried using this solution? Have you tried using this? If all else fails, let me know. Please go ahead and try all of these solutions. Once that's done, you should be good to go. We can go ahead and add specific tags depending on what type of problem they have. So if they have a technical problem, we could go with that one. If they have a problem with their order, we can add the order problem over there. Shipping problems, the product was not, you know, in good condition or whatever tags you want to add, you can go ahead and do that so that you can go ahead and sort them out. Then you have your type over here. You can have type, you can have a question type, incident type, problem, feature request, refund, whatever, right? And then status is going to be open pending. So I'm going to say pending or we'll, we'll say open, right? Open means that this one is currently in the works. We are fixing it. Pending is we haven't taken a look at it yet. It's currently in the queue. We're going to look at it later. Resolve is going to be, as the name says, resolve and close is going to be ended. And waiting on customer means that, you know, we've responded to the customer. We've sent them the email, sent them the helpline. And once they've, you know, responded that it works, can go ahead and move on got the priorities over here and then agent is going to be over here so agents are going to be people well your team or employees that are going to be handling their customer issues and also you've got some product examples if you want you've got reference numbers and over here you've got the contact details uh, you can see agent who is currently dealing with the issue the email the timeline you've got the time logs over here you can go ahead and log your time if you want so sorry hours and minutes how long did this whole process takes you know you've got the to-do list if you want to add one and you've got some other applications as well and once you've well finished it all right let me just update this over here once you've finished solving this ticket just simply go into status and select resolved or click on close right close and there you go property is closed and then you can go ahead and check them out over here so you can see closed it's done finish right over here you've got your dashboard again here you will see unresolved you have 55 unresolved tickets this is all just uh, sample data of, as well it's not real you've got unresolved overdue due today open on um, three odd homes and eight unsigned you've got all of the good all of the analytics over here so you can go ahead and create different agents right if you come over here on the left hand side you can see you've got ticket you've got contacts companies subscriptions and all of that right if you go to agent we click on new and here we can go ahead and click on agent and we can create a new agent right we can select what their role is whether they are is they're the copilot user or the ai supervisor administrator or account and we can add emails and we can click on add and we can add more people over here then we can go into the ticket section and then assign those tickets to those agents and we should be good to go let's go back to the uh checklist so we've already done this we've already done this right next all that's left for us to do is to invite our team members so just simply go ahead and add the emails and invite them and you should be good to go and once that's done you're pretty much done after that you can connect your application right to your dashboard or whatever but yeah you can have your emails your support emails on your website on your social media pages whatever and people can go ahead and contact you via that and you can just find the emails over here in the ticket section and you can find different forms as well so over here you can create different forms for your you know, categories or whatever for your product so that they can go ahead and see how it looks so you can create a customer service form or a customer satisfaction form whatever you want you can create that over here to do that you have to create the category first create your form first and then create the topic and then pretty much yeah you're good to go so there you go this is how you do it this is how you use fresh desk now over here this is the pricing of fresh desk right here so you've got the four plans you've got the free the growth the pro and the enterprise and if we come over here on the top we've got our main options so we've got customer service it service or crms right and in it you've got fresh desk fresh desk omni fresh chat or fresh caller as well so you've got individual plans for individual uh, services so make sure you check them out however you want but if we select fresh desk it's usually going to cost you $15 per month per agent per month. Sorry about that. And Pro is going to be $49 per agent per month. And Enterprise is going to be $79 per agent per month. And then scroll down below, you can see all the features and the uh, you know options that they have. So pretty simple. This is how you do it. This is all the information you need to know about Fresh Desk. So having said that, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications. And I will catch you guys in the next video. And until then, take care and goodbye.